we have a great guest for you tonight. She's the former Secretary of State for the state of South Dakota and the CEO and President of the Miss America Organization. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chantel Krebs. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Well, my pleasure. Chantel being here. Krebs, everyone. Oh. Chantel. Thank you, Joe and Chuck, first of all. Yes. Um, yeah, I used to play with these guys. I'm not good enough anymore, so they replaced me. That saxophone player in the end, that, you know. But thanks for the great intro. How about I give a round of applause for these late night boots? <laughs> yeah, so you used to play? You well, used to play with them? I attempted. You attempted? Yes, and that's how... Don't let her fool you. She was awesome. She and, was great. And actually, my husband and I met through consensual sex. <laughs> that is the truth. It sounds like I quit band too early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One week at band is all. all you need. That's where it's at. I better be on my toes with all these jokes. <laughs> We've got a lot to talk yes, about tonight. Yes. And, and you know how on interviews, like on late night shows, they have like those cards that they read off of? Well, I, forg I forgot mine. But we have our declined patented roller dolly to bring out the note cards for us. Woohoo! Yay! Love it. Isn't nothing like a person? It is the like the, the stuck. slickest. Oh, there we go. There we go. See? Always making life easier. Think fast. It's got the logo. That's yeah, the most important that's all thing. that it's matters. Got the logo. <laughs> that's all that matters. You know, you, you have so many accomplishments. You were, um, you know, pre your president and CEO of the Miss America organization. I mean, come on. As a volunteer. As a volunteer, yeah. <laughs> volunteer. <laughs> yes. And you were Miss South Dakota. And, you that know. That was before most of the kids in this audience were born. <laughs> and oh, you don't laugh. <laughs> that was you too. <laughs> I was born before that. I did 1997. my research. 1997. 92 was when I was born. Okay. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Before you were born. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you took my IQ level, you'd think I was born last week. Ouch. But, um, and, and you know, you're the former Secretary of State of South Dakota, and you're currently working uh, with Avera right now. Love Avera. Shout I mean, out to Avera. So, so many things. But you started off in small town South Dakota. Where did you grow up? Arlington. Everybody loves small town South Dakota. I had a graduating class of 25 kids, five girls, 20 boys. Um, you know, the odds were not that great in our favor. Truly, you'd think it would be. They all dated the out-of-town girls anyway, so <laughs> why not, right? Yeah, 25 kids? 25 kids in my graduating That's class. That's like a third of the state of South Dakota. Exactly. <laughs> and we made <laughs> Small towns, so you're growing up small town South Dakota. I mean, what's there to do? What do, you, what do you get up to when you're living there? Well, I grew up on a farm. I'm a farm girl at heart, four generations of family farming. And so we rode horse down Main Street. Really? And then you had to clean up the doo-doo afterwards, of course. So mm. <laughs> you had to bring the pickup back through. Um, yeah. uh, many of you in the audience can relate to small town South Dakota. I grew up with those values and the purse connection, uh, your morals. I mean, all of us can agree. That's really who makes you are today. And I'm thankful for a small town in South Dakota making the person I am today. 605, come on! I'm telling you, nothing beats the 605. 605. Isn't there a t-shirt on that or something? Are we getting, do we need there them as a sponsor? Be. They need to be a sponsor. 605, the yes. state of South Dakota. No, the, the, the t-shirt logo. We need to get oh. them as a sponsor. We should. Yeah, we should. Why haven't we thought about that yet? What the heck? Even a tank top, I'll wear it. <laughs> I think we all want to see that. <laughs> Size large, it'll just be here. <laughs> Tape it. <laughs> New merch coming out soon. Yeah. Um, they will stop. They will stop selling it as soon as they see me wear that. <laughs> uh, you know, I heard. You know how they always do that on like talk shows. You know, I heard. And it's on the cue cards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that you have, you gained a talent, you know, while, while working in that small town in South Dakota, that you can do a goose call. 
Uh, yes, the, I don't know how, but growing up on the farm, you're outdoors a lot and, you know, interacting with wildlife. And I don't know why, as you know, when you're out by yourself by a swamp, which we owned a lot of land, and you're out riding horse by the swamp or the yeah. slough, we called it. Slough. Uh, I will be able to challenge you that I'm a better goose caller than your little goose call that you had purchased at Shields or Cabela's. With no, no tools. No tools. You're just belting it out. I can belt it out. Can, can we summon some geese? Sure. <laughs> Actually, I can. I can bring some in. So do you guys want me to do it or not? Yeah. Come on, we'll do a goose call. No, I, I, don't, I don't know if they told me if they, do I, do you really want to hear me do this? Yeah. Come on, we want to hear All the right. goose call. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 that was spectacular. You did, you did summon a goose. I did. You summoned the silly goose. But that's just my fun talent. That's my fun talent. That's how Pearl Jam got their sound. <laughs> we knew this was going to be on. Right? We, we could not let that one go. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, wildlife out there seems to be plentiful. Um, there was a story that came out just a few years ago um, about you and a certain animal that was terrorizing your front yard. What, yes. what, what was that all about? Yeah, it's a little scary when you live West River. So when I was serving as South Dakota's Secretary of State, of course, I moved and I moved to West River, South Dakota, which is if you live in Pier, you're not West River. You live in Fort Pier, you are West River. <laughs> Big difference, okay? There's Pier and there's Fort Pier. We chose to live on a, on a small acreage, about 20 acres, because of course I love my family farm, I love being outdoors. So we purchased about 20 acres, and of course on the west side, or the Fort Pier side, Stanley County, there's rattlesnakes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. when, you, when you move there, they do give you the warning to say, hey, you, just when you're walking around in your yard, uh, make sure to look down. When you open the barn door, and we had a horse barn and a big uh, machine shed, uh, always open the door slowly and then look down before you walk in. It, it, and it, East River, I grew up East River, remember? How many of you, how many of you from West River? Anybody? A few, so you know, right? Yeah, you're all like, this is serious. For all of us that have grown up in the East River, you don't realize that this is serious. And so I had a little Mr. Rattlesnake show up. Um, uh, when I walked out the door to my patio, I had one step down, and he was right there as I'm stepping down the patio. And it's right in your backyard and right on your patio off your back slider. And the first thing to do is, of course, there you just have to protect yourself, number one. Number two, your animals. And so um, thank goodness I, I've got a little bit of background in shooting. And my husband had just purchased me for my birthday. Mitch, give him a shout out. Where's Mitch? My hubby's here. Hello, honey. He had purchased a uh, he had purchased a Judge pistol uh, for, that uses 410 shot shells, and that's great for rattlesnakes because the spray pattern on that shot shell will spray out. So if you're a bad shot, you've got some coverage. So five rounds later, <laughs> I used the, uh, the revolver. You're on your last all, stand. Here. I'm on my last yeah. thing. And I got him, but again, just to protect yourself, it's a scary thing, but the darn thing still keeps moving. Little do you know, snakes, my two West River girls, they continue to move because they're nerves. So you think he's still alive. And then I called my husband, I said, I just shot a rattlesnake, he's out in Rapid City at some function. Of course, he's not protecting his wife, he's doing something else. Anyway, I call him, I said, I just shot the rattlesnake, he's like, well, did you pull the buttons off yet? You know, the first thing, your badge of honor, West River, is to pull the rattlesnake tails off. So I had to go back out there and pull the dang tail off, the rattlesnake tail, and I've got my badge of honor. You've got it. At my house with, the, with a, I think, what do I have, 10? Mitch has got 11, I think, on his. It's the rattle, the number of rattles. And oh. so, but I've got my badge of honor. But it's scary, but it's real. But yes, I'm well known uh, nationally for the shooting of my rattlesnake in the backyard. That is awesome. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Don't you have like yes. a rattle, like a hiss sound or anything for us? There we go. There's a picture. We there got a we picture. Go. Yeah, that's it. Oh my. That's a big snake. See? Yeah. I told you. Yeah, that is. And then is... I picked it up, but the tail's gone. Notice? I pulled it. Oh, I have it in my other hand. Oh, you're holding the rattler. Yeah, I'm holding the rattler. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're like holding it like a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no big deal. No big. <laughs>